Think about a religion that doesn't just accept the idea of God. This religion says that the way to become smarter doesn't come from God, but from our own hearts and minds. This is what Buddhism suggests, and it has caused a lot of talks. Before we begin, it's important to say that this discussion isn't about forcing any beliefs or being disrespectful to anyone's faith. Buddhism wants us to ask questions, to dig deeper, and not just take things as they are. So, whether you're a firm believer in a faith, a doubter who questions everything, or just interested in different ideas, you're welcome here. Our aim is to explore, to question what we think is true, and to open our minds to new thoughts. Are you set? Let's start. First, let's explain what we mean when we say God. Usually we mean a powerful being who made and controls the universe, right? But the Buddha didn't really focus on this. He was more interested in dealing with human suffering right now, not guessing about how everything began. In fact, when asked about God and the universe, the Buddha often didn't answer saying these questions weren't important for finding freedom from suffering. As Buddhism developed over hundreds of years, most Buddhists came to not believe in a god. This doesn't mean they don't believe in anything. Some Buddhists believe in different gods and supernatural beings, but they see these more as symbols of wisdom, not as powerful creators. So why the change from the idea of a creator god? At its heart, Buddhism is all about finding power within ourselves. The Buddha taught that we all have the wisdom and kindness to free ourselves from suffering. We don't need to depend on any outside savior or God. The key to freedom is inside us. It's like having a superhero inside us, just waiting to be discovered. This idea of taking full responsibility for ourselves is a big deal. It means that our happiness, and spiritual growth are up to us. We can't just pray or give offerings and expect some God to fix our problems. The Buddha's last words were, be your own light. In other words, trust your own wisdom, question everything, and don't just follow any leader or teaching without thinking. But there's more to Buddhism. Buddhists also believe in karma and rebirth. The idea that what we do has effects that shape our future experiences in this life and beyond. It's like a cosmic game of cause and effect. And here's the interesting part. There's no need for a god or heavenly being to keep score. We're the ones who set our own future in motion, getting back what we give. This idea of karma is connected to another key Buddhist teaching, the idea of non-self or anatta. This is a bit tricky to understand. Basically, Buddhism says that everything, including our sense of self, is always changing and doesn't last forever. There's no fixed eternal soul that was created by some god. Instead, we're more like ever-changing streams of thoughts and feelings. If this is hard to understand, you're not alone. Many thinkers have thought about this idea for a long time. But Buddha said that believing in a fake idea of ourselves causes a lot of pain. By letting go of our self-importance and accepting change, we can find true freedom. This might sound very theoretical and brainy, but Buddha wanted us to learn from our own experiences. He didn't want us to just believe him. He wanted us to see the truth for ourselves. That's why Buddhism thinks meditation and living mindfully are very important. By looking at our own minds and becoming more aware, we can see through the false ideas and discover the real nature of everything. And that's what really matters. Buddhists believe that the highest truth is beyond words, ideas, and even beliefs. It can only be known through direct understanding. So instead of arguing about whether God exists, Buddhism invites us to start a personal journey of self-discovery it's like a spiritual treasure hunt, with the ultimate prize being the realization of our own endless wisdom and kindness. This focus on direct experience over belief has led to some pretty big changes in Buddhist history. Consider the story of Sariputta, a student of Buddha. One day, a wandering holy man questioned Sariputta, 
saying, You Buddhists don't believe in God, so your way is not complete. Sariputta answered, Friend, even if a God who created everything exists, that's no reason to stop following the Buddhist way. We follow Buddha's teachings because we've seen with our own eyes that they bring peace and freedom, not because of blind belief. Or think about the Kalama Sutta, a well-known Buddhist writing where Buddha tells a group of doubters not to blindly trust anything, even what he teaches. He tells them to ask questions, look into things, and check the truth for themselves. Don't believe something just because you heard it, because it's a legend, because it's a tradition, because it's written down, because it seems logical, because it makes sense, because it agrees with what you already think, because it's likely, or because you respect the person who said it. When you know for yourselves that certain things are bad, wrong, and harmful, then let them go. And when you know for yourselves that certain things are good and healthy, then accept them and do them. We've discussed a lot today. The Buddhist idea about God might cause some debate, but it makes us think again about our spiritual beliefs. Instead of depending on outside help or unclear beliefs, Buddhism asks us to look inside ourselves, to ask hard questions, and to trust what we experience. Whether you agree with these ideas or not, you have to admit that it's a pretty bold and strong way to think. This is just a small part of the big talk between Buddhism and belief in God. And hey, don't just listen to me. I want you to look into these ideas yourself with an open and thinking mind. So, my friends who are looking for truth, what do you think about all this? Do you find the Buddhist view interesting, hard or maybe even freeing? Tell me in the comments. Enjoyed the journey? Like, subscribe to Spirit Soar for more mind-expanding content. Ultimate truths lie within you, not in books or videos. Keep questioning, practicing, and trust your wisdom. Stay curious and kind. See you next time.